Did you ever have a dream that you were flying, that you floated up from your bed and flew out your window to the outside summer breeze? Floating over your backyard, you could spot things that you knew had been placed there that very day. You could control your direction and speed. At times, you really believed you were flying, but it always ended too soon. You woke up feeling so wonderful and exhilarated that you wanted to go back to sleep and try to fly some more, but you couldn't. It was just a vivid dream while you were in REM sleep. Death and the Supernatural is a story about a lady zoologist, Dr. Rosalie Taylor, whose spirit, under certain circumstances, could leave her body and go flying off into the night sky. A supernatural being, Masasi, came to console Rosalie when her husband unexpectedly died. Masasi accidentally dislodged the lock that confined Rosalie's spirit to her body. Flying off into the night was a distraction that Rosalie craved and a secret she kept. Masasi saw danger. Rosalie's spirit could fail to return or stay away so long that Rosalie could die. Rosalie's depression and guilt coupled with her love of flying could outweigh her love and feelings of obligations to her children. She worried that Rosalie's spirit might not want to return. Masasi used Rosalie's childhood memories to lure her spirit back. When she ran out of memories, Masasi picked three spirits to serve as Rosalie's guardians. Their orders were to keep Rosalie safe, keep her spirit from escaping, and make her happy. The guardians brought a lot of different talents to this job, but they weren't told why this happened to Rosalie, who assigned them this task, or why Rosalie's life had such a high value. These things Rosalie also pondered as she struggled through the devastation of her husband's death and the intrusion of the three spirit guardians in her life.